Mira Seale's novel Anita and Me is set in the fictional English village of Tollington in the 1970s. It tells the story of nine-year-old Meena Kumar, the daughter of Indian immigrants, as she attempts to define her personal identity, marked by her Indian background and the small-town, English society in which she grows up. At the beginning of the novel, Meena is caught telling a lie to her father. She finally admits to taking money from her mother to buy sweets, which leaves Meena's father furious. Although Meena is close to her parents, she often finds herself lying and wanting to rebel. Her family includes a series of acquaintances whom Meena calls the aunties and uncles, friends who are not actually relatives but who come to Meena's house on a regular basis. Although this community makes Meena feel loved, she also feels pressure to conform to a traditional image of an Indian girl, pleasant and polite, when she wants to spend time outdoors and play sports. When Meena meets 13-year-old Anita Rudder, everything changes. She is amazed at Anita's ability to speak her mind. Anita is known for being the leader of a group of two friends, Sherry and Fat Sally. Meena soon becomes one of Anita's followers. She is honored to be spending time with an older girl. At the same time, Meena finds that Sam Lowbridge, a 16-year-old boy who is considered the town rebel, is kind to her, despite their age difference. As Meena gets older, she starts to notice things she didn't before. She hears someone refer to herself and her mother as a bloody wogs, which serves as her first indirect encounter with racism. At school, she notices that she is sometimes treated differently, especially after a boy in her class is relieved at being paired up with Fat Sally instead of her. Although Mina wants to talk to her parents about it, she does not want to burden them or bring up bad feelings, certain that they must have encountered racism all of their lives. Mina continues to act out at home, getting in trouble when she uses the same foul language as Anita, shocking her entire family. Mina and Anita start spending a lot of time together and convince younger children to form a gang. Mina initially enjoys their games, but one day is shocked to see Anita and other young children pick on Anita's sister, Tracy. Shocked by this public humiliation, Mina concludes that people cannot be trusted, as they turn on their friends to humiliate them. Before Tracy runs away, Mina notices bruises on Tracy's thighs, suggesting that she is being sexually abused. Things come to a head between Mina and Anita when they attend Fate, a party organized by the wealthy Mr. Pembridge. At the party, Sam Lowbridge loudly voices his hatred of Uwags, and members of the crowd cheer in support. Mina had thought Sam was her friend and is shocked both by his behavior and by the fact that local villagers agree with him. She suddenly realizes that some people harbor racist beliefs. As Mina walks away, Anita stops her, commenting on Sam's good looks. Outraged, Mina calls Anita stupid, which puts a strain on their friendship. Mina resolves to distance herself from Anita's bad influence, to focus on her family, and to devote herself to her studies, in particular, the preparation for the 11 plus exam, which might allow her to go to a good grammar school and move out of Tollington. Mina isolates herself to study, however, on the eve of the exam, when Mina's parents are out, Tracy comes knocking on Mina's door. She urges Mina to follow her, saying that someone is trying to kill her sister. Mina follows Tracy to the big house, where she sees Anita and Sam having sex, a physical act that Tracy has interpreted as violence. Unable to contain her rage at discovering that Anita actually wants to have sex, Tracy attacks her and the two run off, chasing each other. Sam then calls out to Mina, telling her that he has always had feelings for her. Mina tries to communicate to him that he has hurt her feelings, but Sam argues that he only ever meant to target others. Tracy suddenly appears, running to attack Sam. In doing so, she accidentally falls in the pond. Realizing that the three have the potential to ruin her life, Mina decides to keep her distance. By the end of the novel, Mina succeeds at her 11-plus exam and her family moves out of Tollington. The entire family is happy to move out of this community and to live in a new, more diverse neighborhood. Eager to say a few last words to Anita, Mina leaves her a note, but never receives any response. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.